This vlog is of Greenwood Great House located in St. James. Yes, let's take a little heritage trip. Now, Greenwood Great House is over 200 years old, formerly owned by Elizabeth Barrett Browning, a popular poet from England in the 1800s. This is a look of the four year today. As of 1976 to date, the property is owned by Ann Beaton and her husband, Bob Beaton, currently on your screen. Now, the purpose of the tour was my mom used to work here before I was born, and this was over 32 years ago, so she wanted to see if things are pretty much the same or if there are any changes. Take the tour with us and our tour guide, Patricia. This is the oldest part of the house. It is over 290 years old. Wow. Even in the basement, there are bunch slots still intact. The rest of the house was built on, it started in 1780, completed by 1800. There we have a bus between and a shield. Cover that is so nice. Over there we have the Barrett's original library. It is the largest plantation library in the island, still intact. There are over 300 books in the collection. The average age of the books is over 200 years. Most of them are signed by members of the Barrett family. The oldest book in the collection was published in 1697. There are three first editions among them, including a Dickens, Dombey and Son. The chandeliers are Spanish converted to take electricity. This leads us to the Barrett's original study. Are those the, the ships? Are, are those their ships? No, no, those are just prints. Oh, uh, just pictures. Yes. So. A famous ship. Fun fact. This is a Dutch-made piano made of rosewood and the maker's name is John and he was the only person who was able to make a piano to suit Beethoven. Isn't that interesting? We found this letter from the library dated 1836 of Richard, signed by Philip Morris. Have a look at the beautiful penmanship. In those days, the emphasis was on wood and writing. Mm -hmm. It's so perfect you can't read it. <laughs> <laughs>
It's fascinating that this still works after so many years. But here's a closer look at the barrel. It spins to select the keys that makes the sounds in this piano type contraption. That's your penny worth. <laughs> it's a lot for a penny. Yeah. <laughs> Those are 19th century boxes. A couple of tops at the side, Ina and Fair. This is a fight over here between them. In those days, they would soak their fists in brine to make them hard. And they would fight 80 or 90 rounds if necessary. Wow. Of course, boxing was illegal and they would fight bare fisted. There's a lot of detail and information missing from this vlog. If you found this interesting, go ahead and take the tour. It's 3,000 Jamaican dollars or 20 US dollars. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. See you next time.